As a boy, you love to draw. You would spend your summers, though, over the border, the other side of the border in New York, yep. visiting your aunt and uncle. You worked at a local supermarket. You unloaded produce, right, <laughs> yeah. as a boy. You know all this stuff, wow. <laughs> but but it was but the, the sleepy town brought out the best in you from a... Yeah. Um, from a so I, so I set in New York, in the Long Island. I used to spend the summers in my dearly departed Aunt Giselle. Mm -hmm. uh basement and you know i didn't really have too many friends i would you know do that produce. it was an older town the town was kind of a very sleepy uh near almost retirement type town so at night i would just sketch and sketch and sketch and she she really uh thought that was fascinating that i would work all day and then come home and work again just drawing so it's around 1987 you're 17 yeah. And let's talk about now a letter, the aforementioned letter that I just mentioned people writing to you. This is a legendary story, but I'm sure there are some <laughs> who have not heard it. Uh, at the time, Lee Iacocca is running Chrysler. You know, yeah. if you can find a better car, buy it, he said yeah. on TV at the time. All the time, yeah. And your dear aunt sees you drawing and sees Mr. Iacocca on television. And what does she say to you? She says, let's uh, send him your drawings, just like that. I'm like, what? And it's honestly, it sounds crazy as a kid. I'm going to send this guy on TV my drawings. Who, why would he ever care? Uh, but, but she wasn't kidding. She actually called up uh, Chrysler. She found the headquarters and they gave her an address to the head of design. At, um, uh, at the time, I think it was Tom Gale and, and Neil Walling. And we, we uh, sure enough, we, we uh, put some samples in, put a letter together and the letter mostly said, hey, my, my, my nephew loves car design. He wants to be a car designer. You know? And they wrote back. Uh, they wrote back within a few weeks. And this was hard mail times, right? Not, not emails, of course. And it said, uh, Neil Walling, who I ended up working for uh, year, 10 years later. Um, he hired you. Yeah, he did. It's crazy. And, and uh, he recommended the schools. But to be honest, Jason, even then, I, I, it seemed far-fetched to me. I, I, I love the letter. I kind of tucked it away. I didn't think much. It, it still felt impossible. It felt like it was just out of reach. It was too expensive. Number one, the school was very expensive to a Canadian kid who was in Detroit. Uh, so I just went back to um, wanting to be an engineer, you know, <laughs> at the time. But he, but he wrote something at the, at the bottom of that letter. He said, your portfolio does show significant promise. Yes. And I found that letter um, again later on um, when a dad passed away, it was in his effects. And I, I since then lost it and found it again. And I framed it this time. It's in, my now it's in your office. And I, I read that a lot because um, I, it reminds me not to forget to answer letters I get like that. I get a lot of those kind of letters. Um, and, and for the most part, we answer every one of them or at least call them up now if we can or email them and tell them this, the same thing. You know, here are the schools you can go to and, and don't dream big. You never know. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, really grateful for that. But your aunt wasn't happy. She wanted Lee Iacocca to actually write. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like, how come he didn't? On behalf of Lee Iacocca. So his name was CC'd at the bottom of the letter. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so you sure. said at the time, you said... Uh, well, okay, this is great. There, there could be something here, yeah. but your brother actually, Max is the yeah. one who pushed you a little further. What well, did, yeah, as the story goes, I went to school, I graduated from high school in the 11th grade as typical Canadians do. And then I went to CJEP, which is like a pre-college. So I, I did engineering trigonometry. I hated it and dropped out after a month. And I went uh, back to a uh, produce, what I knew, right? I went to, I found a store and I started unloading <laughs> this time hardware, not produce. Um, and started working and, and got promoted really quickly. And my brother came home. This is now four months I'm working hard work. So my parents have given up on me. Said, "Okay, this kid, he's 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 lost the plot." And my brother came home for spring break, and he goes, "What are you doing with your life? You know, where's that letter?" He remembers because the letter was a big deal. Our whole family talked about this letter from Chrysler. Sure. Um, and my brother, uh, you know, told told me to you know go call up a school again and see what it takes. And they said, "Well, you need portfolio pieces." And we stayed up all night. First time in my life I ever had coffee. By the way, he made. <laughs> I don't know how many pots of coffee we stayed up five days straight, sketched my brains out and came out with 10 pieces, rolled them up in a tube and FedExed it to uh, CCS. And at the art table in the basement of your home, <laughs> you're doing supercars, you're doing current cars, you're Everything. just drawing like crazy, right? Yeah, it was crazy. And we stayed up all night. We literally, to make the deadline, we stayed up. I think we didn't sleep for three days. We just uh, kept drawing. And my mother, my parents had bought me an art table, like an architect style table. So I had that. They tried to, you know, support my my fledgling <laughs> car design dream. <laughs> you know? As did Max. 